Hello, my name is Ozan, and holy crap, my tenth video. And the احساس هاد العام يكون زي بزاف. Well, باغي ندير شي حاجة مختلفة. You know, something a bit serious. And don't worry, I know you love the dumb video essay series, and they will be back. I have a lot of topics to talk about. And by the way, any video that isn't a dumb video essay will have some kind of vaporwave background or a gameplay. Now, when I say a generation destroyed itself, I mean Gen Z, aka my generation. Some are aware of it, some are not. Most of us don't care. Now, I'm not Andrew Tate, I'm not a Sigma male, not successful or a rich, you know, or some kind of a, a genius, you know. I'm just a guy who likes philosophy and wants to share it with everyone. Well, I will talk about three generations, boomers, millennials, and Gen Z, because they represent everything that is wrong with us. We got the greedy, the brainwashed, and the victim. The greedy, AKA boomers, who are CEOs of large companies and old politicians. Now, for the rest of the boomers who aren't in power, I'm pretty sure they didn't do anything wrong, except for belittling people. Just because they're old, it doesn't make you wise or intellectual, it's just age. We can't describe ourselves because it's unfair for us. We tend to overestimate ourselves a lot or sometimes underestimate. But can you believe in your skills? Of course, that's what it's supposed to be. But the act of describing ourselves is wrong. But we can let other people describe us. Someone else will give you an unbiased description of yourself. Now, back to the CEOs and politicians, they have one main problem, and it's a greediness. I mean, they already have enough, right? But they are still greedy. But exactly what do they want? What do they so desire as they go in their way to make other people's lives miserable? They want power, my friends. They want to be dominant. They want to take control of everything, and that's a problem because they only look for themselves, but not for others. Since they have influence around the world, you know, they would instead try to be the bigger dog, which is pointless, because we all know, no matter how much power you will have, no matter how much money you have, in the end, we all have the same faith, death. Even when they donate to charities, they don't do it out of their goodwill. They do it because there's some sort of benefits behind it. Now, do I have some source of evidence? No, it's just how I see them. Do I think it's a major problem? No, because even though they are benefiting themselves, they help others in a way. This is not the problem. The problem is the intent behind the action. What happened to the days when we were doing good things for others just for the sake of it? Is it because everyone became isolated? Is it because they focus on their future more than the future of humanity? Well, everyone wants to be rich. It's just how we are shaped. And there's nothing we can do about it. Both these generations have a lot in common because we were born in the age of the internet. Both of them can be considered as the brainwashed and victims. But victims of what exactly? Boredom. Now, boredom is good because it kind of motivates you to do something like getting a job or study or just playing video games, literally anything to get out of the state of boredom. But when there is too much of it, that's when it becomes a problem. Just like the book Everything is Effed by Mark Manson, he argued that we are living in a spiritual war because everything is easy, nothing is worth it. We already have almost everything, movies, TV series, all kinds of entertainment. Well, they become boring with time. So is there something else? There is something else. Something better and bigger. And the discovery of it is simple. We just didn't notice it. Well, before I reveal it, I have to talk about us being brainwashed. But in what way exactly? Well, in everything, Cancel culture is the best example I could give. They cancel whoever for whatever dumb reason they have. I wouldn't be surprised if someone got cancelled because they eat cake with spoon instead of fork. Because this is where we are heading right now, my friends. 
fighting over trivial stuff something that is irrelevant in my opinion something that is that doesn't matter but why exactly are they canceling people why because they are boring themselves they have nothing they don't want to admit it and also they feel that they don't belong anywhere so what do they do they try to get offended instead of a minority maybe they get offended in place of black people or lgbt or any kind of minority or race they do this because they want to get recognized by that, by that specific minority they expect some sort of praise or approval from them which is in a good cause it's just the intent behind it that is not pure all right but what is the biggest problem we have right now as millennials and gen z we don't think for ourselves who, who removed this ability from us well social media my friends now is social media 100 evil no but who should we blame it's us my friends we gave ourselves to social media we want likes followers attention from people we will never meet at life in a nutshell it's us who removed the ability of thinking so we have two options either we don't let social media control us and regain this ability or we don't do anything and just stay being brainwashed because thinking about rihanna being pregnant again is more important than your ability of thinking now all of these generations have one thing in common boomers millennials and gen z are childish we are childish in a way boomers are childish because they want power and want to dem- dominate just like kids when they break toys the kids get spoiled by their parents millennials and gen z cry a lot whenever they take everything and i mean everything seriously on the internet just like a baby when he falls off he cries once but the difference between a baby and us the baby learns quickly he knows how to cope with pain but us we don't well is there any hope for us is there a way for us not to destroy ourselves any longer yes here is a side note there is always a solution for a pl- problem as long as you're wise enough and smart enough but ozan what can we do i'm glad you asked for the boomers greediness and belittling is the problem right now at least they should question themselves always am i doing the right thing well it is hard for them to admit that they are wrong because they think they are right for their long experience at life but is there an easier way for them to question themselves well i don't know it's up to them honestly for the millennials and gen z if they research about these two topics it would be beneficial for them because it would make them critical thinkers and at the same time it would provide them a stronger moral compass the first one is religion Religion is the most important thing at life. Sure, there is science, but religion is more important because it gives you hope at life. Unlike science, it doesn't care about your feelings. I would suggest reading about different religions, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, but I really, really want you to read deeply about Islam. Islam gives me hope at life and connected with myself. The second one is philosophy. Not only does it make you a critical thinker, it also helps you understand religion better. There was a quote about philosophers being the best leaders because they understand things at a deeper level. I think it was a quote from Socrates, I believe. I don't know. In conclusion, we destroyed ourselves by not thinking for ourselves and adapting nihilism as our style of life. But there is always hope as long as we have the will to change for the better. Well, this was a really long video to make. It took me a lot of time. By the way, this is all my opinion. This isn't based on a study or anything scientific. It's my opinion. Mm-hmm.